new 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 yay okay first up first up we have ada box 005 if you missed ada box and just started or maybe you just want an all-in-one pack to make your own raspberry pi powered pi zero powered game station this is our Break for Pi Ada Box. Uh, you don't get all of the awesome extras like the custom pin and the free magazine, but you do get all the components, everything else. So uh, it's, a, it's a handy all-in-one box. So you can check that out if you would like to take a Break for Pi. And don't forget, Ada Box 6 is shipping now. If you'd like to get in an Ada Box, subscribe, and you'll get number seven. Yeah. And so the next one, um, we're not going to go into it too much because we're going to have the demos here next week, but we worked on a cool project with Google. These are... Uh, yeah, pa paper signals. Paper it's, signals. It's a you know voice activated yeah. paper trying. We're gonna show a demo next week, but yeah. uh, we do have the kits in stock. Uh, if you'd like to make your own paper controlled desktop electronics. So we're gonna do a bunch of demos now. Neopixels. Okay. Let me get my demo set up. We've okay. got a bunch of Neopixels going. So I'm gonna. I know I had so many Neopixels. I didn't. I didn't know yeah. which ones to set. I'm gonna so hit these... the photos while you do that. Hit the so the first set are the dots. And the dots are actually requested by Aaron, who's our resident uh, LED artist, and um, also she's a mermaid. Yeah. Hold on, so I got these dots. So um, she uses these in her costumes because she's actually done a lot of costuming using uh, NeoPixel strips. And she said one of the issues that she came across was the NeoPixel strips would flex and eventually break um, because they're, they're just PCBs. And so she said, hey, can you um, get some dots that I, I like these dots that they're they're weatherproof they're epoxied uh, and they're on these flexible uh, strands hold on let me zoom in zoom out so uh, we have two kinds we have cameras love LEDs I know there's so many LEDs we might have to uh, do, a, do a little bit more um, focusing on that yeah overhead. sorry there's yeah it's really freaking out I know because it's like if wise. you get it lock it maybe yeah it's locked go. okay so um, Hold on, so there's two strands. Let me plug in the secondary strand. I gotta figure out where the end of it is. Oh, I see, it's over here. So let me, let me plug this in by hand. Hold on. Sorry, I was not uh, fully prepared. Okay, so um, there's, goodness. so we have two strands. Um, the first strand is a uh, these little dots and they have neopixels inside of them and they're four inches apart on a strand and yeah they basically got this nice uh, translucent flexible wire so these are better for you know wearables or if you're making uh, crafting projects where you want to you know embed them or sew them or attach them to fabric or something that's moving around a lot um, compared to the most neopixel strips which again they you can bend them but they don't like to be continuously flexed these you can flex them forever and they're, they're fine because they've got strain relief and on the back they've got these little hooks um, you can barely see them but there's little plastic hooks that you can uh, loop in and uh, solder into a um, uh, uh, so they can you can uh, so you can uh, hook that you can sew them with a thread and you can like sew them onto your clothing I mean like a uh, Erin is using them mostly for her costumes and so what she does is she'll uh, sew this on into the underside of the costume which has usually a muslin like a, a, a stiffer fabric and then maybe cover it with the shimmery translucent material yeah. so the LEDs this go is going to save her time time because she often has to repair costumes wherever she is and these are more durable for that type of application so I thought this will save time yeah and then um, we also have them let me go to the next ones well, I have, it's hard to tell which way is the input. Yeah. Uh, well, we have our photos in your show note video. Yeah, so, so these are, um, these ones are uh, two inches apart, and uh, these are four. So you basically pick and choose, but you can, um, you can hook them up together. So I'll just, I'll see if this is the edge that this side comes together. Because these, these were, these are the stripped, oh yeah, this is the stripped side. Hold on. We, we cut off the connector for the demo, but these usually uh, come with a connector. I like that we, over the last like decade of doing Ask an Engineer, we always do the live demo show and the stuff really working. I like that. Or not working. <laughs> no, it's like, well, you're figuring out how to do the live demo sometimes. Sometimes we're putting products in right before the 
Yeah, yeah no, these went in yeah. just like a few minutes ago, so I didn't I didn't have time to, to put together a demo. So I'm like, oh, I'll just get this trinket and make it work. Um, but yeah, so each you can basically hook them up and, and connect as many as you want. But you get basically 20 per strand, and we thought that would be the easiest way to do it rather than trying to have like variable, like, you know, four meters and 10 meters. But you get 20 each, and they're really easy. You can, um, compared to the NeoPixel strips, they're also much easier to cut if you want to cut and strip the wires. Um, because you've got actual wire rather than like flex PCB. And I like that it's a kind of a translucent um, wire as well, so it, just, it doesn't stand out as much. Um, and then the PCBs themselves are white. So these are, these are good. I think these are good for like, yeah, costuming and, you know. Durable and more they're weather, weather, weather resistant. They are like technically they're waterproof, but I don't want to guarantee it. We can't say that. I know. We can't because you know if if you say waterproof, then they actually gonna, put it under. They're, under like, they're for, like, oh, I wanted a Neopixel pool. It's like, oh yeah, no. they put it in the pool for like, like twenty years, and they're like, how come it broke? Yeah. So it, it's it's weatherproof. It's will it will uh, stand up to abuse, but I wouldn't necessarily dunk them underwater. Yeah. Just in case. Yeah, these do go and will go on mermaid tails. But they're very solid. Yeah. Okay. So that's the, that's the first set of NeoPixel okay, things. Okay, next up. Okay, so the next set of NeoPixel things are um, NeoPixel side strips. Um, and these are really neat. I'll just show mm. the, the demo I have. I'll only show one because they're, they're all kind of the same. Yep. So these are different than most NeoPixels in which um, instead of the LEDs pointing out, which is how they normally do, these point out the side. So the LEDs are side light. They're, they're 90 degree LEDs. And so what's great about this is, hold on. You know, I, I have an application because I did, uh, I put some NeoPixels in our tiny apartment and yeah. there's this one spot where I could wedge it in. Yeah. But, I, but it was only because it was tall enough because I had to go to the side. Now there's places that I can put that in because it's thinner because they stick out the side. Yeah. It's really this nice. Is, this is one of, yeah, first, first off, they're extremely skinny. And they come with the plastic coating, but of course you can remove it. What's nice is that you can bend them to cover, to make shapes. Like, for example, if you want to make a sign with words or, like, shapes, you know, if you want to make a shape out of the lighting, it's hard to do it with normal NeoPixel strip because they, you know, mm. the p strips don't bend this way. Yeah. They only bend this way. So with the other kinds of strips... Um, you know, they can, they can flex, but not from the edge that they're emitting. Um, so for people who want to make like custom, especially people who are making signs, like people want to make signs or shapes yep. or displays, they're like, well, I want it to edge something. I want it to go along the edge and shine out that direction. So that's when you want this side light LED. So they're still quite bright and they're very skinny and they come in, uh, we have, I think 60, 90 and 120 LED per meter. And then you know you can they come with a connector on the end and you can plug as many meters as you want. We skipped the lower density, like 30 LED per meter, because I figured if you're going to use this stuff, um, or like the 15 LED per meter, if you're gonna use this, you're gonna wanna have a, a more consistent lighting. Yeah, okay. Next up. I like this. This is a request from Phil B. So he um, got one of these, and he's like, hey, these are really cool. Uh, we should stock them. And then we realized, you know, you get custom art on them. So Phil B, Paint Your Dragon, actually did the art. And this is for anybody who's like, you know, I am constantly dealing with single board computers, adding micro SD cards, and like, I don't remember what's on them, and you can't write on them because they're so small. What's this? Because I want that. You, you can swallow these, like, giant storage cards. Yeah, so They're like tiny I... tiny in size, but big in storage. So I have one, you know, I store my SD cards on it, and I write, like, you know, this one is, is for stretch, and this one is my BeagleBone one. Um, and uh, they come with eight slots. And on the other side, because they're like, well, you can have any art you want, we put a really sweet, colorful GPIO diagram. If you use a Raspberry Pi, it's kind of handy. You're always like, oh, count which pin is the I squared C pin, or which one is ground. And then you can write on these... Uh, and erase from them, uh, yeah. you know, one to eight of the micro SD cards. Uh, I use these all the time, and this is really handy here at Adafruit, so I thought people would really dig these, especially if they're doing a lot of Raspberry Pi hacking. Okay. All right, well, the star of the show tonight, besides you, Lady Ada, is... The Chibi Chip. Chibi Chip. This is uh, an electronics project from JT, who is at the Media Lab, and um, she wanted to, like, basically make crafting electronics really easy. And so this was an idea that she came up with and um, Bunny Wang uh, helped her with the implementation. The Bunny? He did, yeah, he did Also, they did work. a CERN open hardware license. I think uh, yeah. we had, we put something on CERN and this is uh, one as well. Good work. So we did something Team. interesting, which is that um, 
you know, the circuit board, it has this flexible section. It looks like a little like piano keys. And you can, um, you could solder to it, but you shouldn't, but it's really good for alligator clipping, or you can um, use it with conductive tape or conductive glue with paper. And there's a clip you can get that will stock soon that lets you clip it onto a piece of paper and it can make contact with uh, like paper electronics. Another interesting thing they did is that to program it, you know, there's a micro SD connector and um, you know, it works great and you can use it with a USB uh, plug and, and upload code that way. But there's also a headphone jack, and the way they program it is using, uh, you know, FSK modem basically, and audio data comes through here and is transmitted on the fifth unused pin on the micro USB connector to the chip, which then decodes it. And the reason they do that is um, it lets you program this board without needing to use a compiler or an IDE or anything. You can use MIC code, which has a version of their editor, the drag and drop editor um, for the Chibi chip. If you like make code, you're gonna like this. Yeah, and, and what's neat is that you know when you download it, it actually plays audio at the speaker. And this means you can use it with devices that don't let you have USB access, like iOS or um, Chromebooks or you know any basically any mobile device, any tablet. Yeah. You don't have to worry about like, oh, do I have a driver or whatever. There's no driver whatsoever because <laughs> it happens all over audio. And it's got these, uh, five, uh, sorry, six GPIOs. It's got some alligator clips up here. It's got a built-in NeoPixel. Uh, it's got the processor at low cost, free scale chip. Um, and it's got this really cool flexible PCB. It's got this um, uh, Bitmark, which is a, a, a warranty code that uses um, the blockchain, which is just like super cool. It's CERN, um, open hardware lab. So I think uh, open hardware license. So this is uh, interesting. It's a, it's a nice different approach. I like how they went a different direction than everybody else. They're like, this yeah. is not breadboard friendly at all. And I like how it works with make code because that, that is a very, and that's when uh, we saw this the first time, this is maybe like a year ago, I think Bunny was in town. I said, oh, we should introduce you to, to make code. And I also got the Bunny sign of approval because I think they're running, or they did run, uh, make code's open source. Yes. And that's one of the reasons we were cool with working with Microsoft because they're like, yep, it's open source, go on GitHub. He's and like, I'll run an app. And I was like, no, don't run an app. Just it up. Code. And, and you can spin up on your own server. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is the Chibi uh, chip, and there's also the Chibi clip that we're going to be getting soon. But I wanted to get this in the store for people who wanted to try it out. Um, it's super easy, and especially for people who want to do conductive ink, yeah. conductive tape, electronic crafting projects. Um, this is like specifically de designed for that. Um, so check out Jay Chi's website for more information on the Chibi chip. Yeah, someone had a funny idea in the chat. They said you can get a microphone and uh, program it over the air. Maybe you could broadcast oh, the yeah. sound. Oh, yeah. You can. You Over the air programming. It's a beep, beep, beep. Yeah, it that's sounds. Cool. And it, what's neat is that um, it, it, it scripts it. Like, you know, you don't download the entire program. Most of the program is already burned in. It just yeah. downloads the instructions. So it's quite fast. Yeah. It, doesn't, it doesn't take that long. Okay. Over, over 300 baht. So that's what we've got. So those were the new products this week, Lady Edison. You know what time it is? Yeah. It's time for the new product recap. Ready? Yep. Set. Go. We've got Adabox 005. This is the Break for Pi. Make your own Raspberry Pi Zero game emulator station that you can plug into your TV and you can get started with games all in one pack. We've got the Google Paper Signals. It's a solderless kit to make your own paper robot that sits on your desk, tells you uh, if it's going to rain or not, or if your Bitcoin is up or down, whatever you'd like. And it's uh, voice powered through the Google API system. We've got these lovely, uh, durable, weatherproof NeoPixel dots on a strand. Great for costuming or when you need a high flex environment. Uh, recommended by our resident mermaid. We have them in both two inch pitch and four inch pitch. You get 20 LEDs per strand. We have side light NeoPixel strip. So if you would like to have NeoPixels, but instead of the light coming out the top of the strip, it comes out the edge, which makes it really good for signage or if you want to uh, make a shape with it that lights up. We have, I think, 60, 90, and 120 LEDs per meter. We have the Dimey card. It's a thing that you never knew you needed, but you need. It can hold eight micro SD cards. There's a little space to write about each one, so you don't have to lose them in figure out which one is which. And on the other side, a very handy and beautifully drawn Raspberry Pi GPIO reference guide. And finally, G Cheese Chibi Chip. It's a uh, audio programmable, make code compatible, 
uh, open source hardware programming system for crafters and learners. It's designed for paper electronics. It's designed for people who've never made anything with electronics before. So if you'd like to get into crafting and electronics, this board is custom designed specifically for that purpose. That's it.